Welcome to the celebrated Archivers Mentorship Program, CHAMP. Today we'll be treating balancing nuclear reactions. Balancing nuclear reactions. So I'll just give you the basic things you need to know about uh, the topic. So we have uh, different things, different things. So various particles can be emitted. We have alpha particle. What's alpha particle? Alpha particle is basically your what? Helium atom, for two. You have beta particle. Beta particle is basically your electron, zero minus one. But you have two types of beta particle. We have the what? The negatron and the what? The positron. The negatron is zero minus one. The positron is what? Let me just put it this way, beta. Then this one is what? Beta, this minus one, this plus one, zero. Then gamma is what? Zero, zero. That's why I said it to be chargeless and massless. So gamma has no charge. Gamma has no mass. So yes, let's go. The, what you need, another thing that you may need is neutron. Neutron, one, zero. That's all about that. Then your proton. Your proton. Your proton is one, one. So these are all everything you are likely going to need about um the about balancing nuclear reactions but balancing nuclear reactions so let's just uh take questions now let's just take questions now on uh how to balance nuclear reactions effectively let's go so i just give some illustrations then we'll take all the past questions and then something very easy in the next 10 to 15 minutes it's over so yes this is it. Let's say um, a radioactive isotope. Let's say we have bismuth. <clears throat> but let's say we have X. X emits <coughs> 239. Then we have 92. Emits 2 beta particle. Or let's say 2 alpha particle. Let's start with this. Or let me just give an alpha particle, then a beta particle, then we have an alpha, two alpha and two beta particles, then we have two alpha, three beta and uh, one gamma particle. So with this, with this, before this is over, one neutron, two alpha, three beta particles. So let's take them after you. Other. So after these five, there should be no past questions you shouldn't be able to solve. So we just treat some past questions together and um, we call it a day for balancing nuclear reactions. So we take the first one, two, three, nine, ninety two x emits an alpha particle minus an alpha particle, four, two, each, right? 213, this is just what you have to do. Just subtract it. 239 minus 4. 239 minus 4. You can do it this way. You can call this one your X, A, B, right? So just write it. 239 minus 4. We give you your what? We give you your A. Then, what's 239 minus 4? That's what? 235. So your A is 235. 92 minus X will give you your what? Your B. So, uh, oh, 92 minus 2, I mean. So you have what? B is equal to 90. So my X is what? A, 2, 3, 5, B, 90. So this is my X. The next question, it loses a beta particle. Now, for beta particle, you have to be very careful. You have something like this, 2, 3, 9, X, 92 minus a beta particle. What's beta? 0 minus 1. Let me just help you to write everything in one corner here. Alpha is 4 to HE. Beta is divided into 2. We have um, electron and positron. Positron is 0 minus 1. 0 plus 1. Electron is 0 minus 1. And then you have neutron. Neutron is one zero neutron, proton is one one neutron, 
then the last one gamma is zero zero yes so we have something like this minus minus one do you have it do you get it now is equals to so this is your a this is your b x right so you have 239 minus this zero zero minus one so yes a better particle is the same thing as an electron so i can decide to write it or put it as better so you have 239 minus zero to give you your what a so your a is what 239 then you have 92 minus right minus minus one to give you what b 92 minus times minus gives you what plus one is equals to b so your b is equals to what b is 93 you get it now minus times minus gives you plus so b is equals to 93 so your new x is what the atomic number 239 then 93 so that's that let's take the last three Let's take the last three. Then we just put three to five past questions. And that's all. So yes, the next one. Two alpha and two beta. Yes. Two three nine ninety two x minus two alpha. Two into brackets. Okay. Let me just two piece it. You can have it like this. Two alpha. Do get it. Or you can write it two times. Two alpha four two four two and two beta minus zero minus one minus another zero minus one to give you what to give you x e b. Do you get it now? Yes. So let's just say two three nine minus four right minus another four. Minus zero minus zero is equals to e. Do you get that? So this is two three nine minus eight is equals to e. Minus zero minus zero that's nothing. So a is equals to what two three one. Then for the damn part ninety two minus two minus two minus one. Oh yes minus two minus two minus minus one. This is minus minus one minus minus one minus minus one is equals to what b. You get it now. This is equal to part of my writing. So we have what? 92 minus 2 minus 2, that's minus 4. Minus times minus that's what's plus 1. Minus times minus that's what's plus 1 is equal to be 92 minus 4 plus 2. So what's my 92 minus 4? 88, 88 plus 2, that's what's 90 is equal to be. B is equal to 90. So write it here. A, 2, 3, 1, B, 90. So this is the new element formed. Yes. Yes, and you want to make it uh, simpler than this. You don't need to stress yourself actually. You can just you can just condense it. Like instead of writing it this way, you can just say 239 92. Give just a shortcut. You have you know you have two alpha. So two times four. That will give you what? That will give you it. So you have minus eight, then minus what minus. So if it's, it's minus eight. Then two times two that was four million. So it should be it should be easier that way. Then this is two beta. So two times zero, zero, two times minus one, minus two. So it should, it should be very easy that way. But if you know that will give you a problem, just do it straight. Let's do it straight. Yes, let's take another one now. So you have it's losing 2 alpha 3 beta and 1 gamma 2 3 9 92 x <coughs> giving you what 2 alpha minus 2 alpha 4 2 h e 4 2 h e 3 beta 0 minus 1 0 minus 1 remember i said you can write either either beta or you can put e Yes, I want alpha. What's alpha? Gamma, I mean. It's gamma, zero, zero. To give you what? X, E, B. So let's go. 239 minus 4, minus 4, right? I'm going by the top one first. Minus 0, minus 0, minus 0, minus 0. Is equals to 8. So that is what? 234, 239 minus 8. Is equals to 8. That's what? 239 minus 8. That's 231. 
Therefore, the damn part, you have 92 minus 2 minus 2 minus times minus 1. Let me just write it. Minus minus 1 minus minus 1 minus minus 1 minus 0 is equal to is equal to what's B, the damp part. 92 minus 2 minus 2, that's minus 4. Minus times minus, that's plus 1. Minus times minus, that's plus 1. Minus times minus, that's plus 1. Minus 0 is equal to B. 92 minus 4, that's what 88 plus 3 is equal to B. Why don't I minus 0? Minus 0 is the same thing. It's actually nothing. So 91 is equal to what's B. B is equal to 91. So this is x, a is what 31, b is what 91. So this is a new element fold. The last one. One neutron, two or four kilobectron. So this is it. 239.92x minus one neutron, this is it, one zero. Minus 2 alpha, 4, 2, he, 4, 2, he. Minus 3 beta, 0, minus 1, 0, minus 1. Don't forget I said you can use E or what is equals to. Let's go. So you have 239 minus 1, minus 4, minus 4, minus 0, minus 0, minus 0 is equals to A. 92 minus 0, minus 2, minus 2. Then this is what minus times minus one, minus minus one. Then you have another minus minus one. Then you have another minus minus one. It's equal to B. Minus times minus gives you plus. Minus times minus gives you plus. Like this. I just skip the line. So you have 92 minus 2 minus 2. That was minus 4. Plus what plus 3. It's equal to B. 92 minus 4 plus 3. That was minus 1. It's equal to B. 92 minus 1, that's what 91 is equal to be. So, you have 91. And for the top part, okay, we actually do not solve the top part. Let's solve it. 239 minus 1, that's 238. Minus 4, that's 234. Minus 4, that's what. So, A is what? 230. 239 minus 1, 238 minus 4, 234 minus 4, 230. So, this is how I get our answer. So, yes, let's just take 2 to 3 past questions then. The quality did for that. Yeah. <clears throat> I have my first question here. So we have our first question here. We have two thirty four ninety thorium to give us y x p plus zero minus one beta. It's very simple. They ask you to find your x and y. So solve it. Two thirty four is equal to what? Y plus zero. So what's your y? Y is equal to what? Two thirty four. Plus zero comes here. Zero is nothing. So y is 234. Down part 90 is equal to x plus minus 1. 90 is equal to x minus 1. 90 minus 1 plus 1 is equal to x. x is equal to 91. So your PA, what is your y? Your y is 234. Your x is what? 91. So this is your answer. This is your answer. Then we will move on. Let's take another past question from A. He said the position is represented as then they give us some options. 1, 0, A. 0, minus 1, B. 0, 1, B. Then 1, 1, H. Then 4, 2, H. Then he said the position is represented as if this was to be your question, what would have been your answer? Yes. So this is it. A positron, I told you that a positron is the word, a positive beta particle. So it is just this. 0, 1 beta. Then another one, you have 14, 7 neutron plus 4, 2 H U to give you what? 1, 1 H plus Y. Let's move on. 
So they ask you to find uh, what is the element I, what is the element Y. So let's go now. So you have 14 plus 4 to give you what? 1 plus, just call this one A, call this one B, plus A, right? I took the top. 14 plus 4 is equal to 1 plus A. What's 14? 14 plus 4 is what? 18 is equal to 1 plus B. A is equal to 18 minus what? Minus 1. A is equal to 17. So A is 17. Then we take the damper. 7 plus 2 is equal to 1 plus what? Plus B. 9 is equal to 1 plus B. 9 minus 1 is equal to B. B is equal to what? 8. B is equal to 8. So we have... Okay, so we have um, 17, 8. Which element is this? Which element have atomic number of 8? That's what oxygen. So oxygen is the correct answer to that. Oxygen is the correct answer to that. Then we move on. Let me just take um, some more questions. Yes, they said the symbol for alpha particle is. No, we are just dealing on with the calculation aspect alone. You know. If you have a uh, concern as it does every other aspect of nuclear chemistry, can check out every of uh, other videos that have been made on this. Yes. The symbol for alpha particle, you don't need to do that. Port switch. That's you said that already. So they said in the decay of 234x by alpha emission. By what alpha emission? H E. They said what is the product that is going to be formed? Yes, this, this is what they give us. So they said what is the product? That is to be formed. Actually, the mass, the atomic number I wasn't giving, but I guess it's an omission. Let me just check what it is to be. Yes, so this is to be 94. So, yes, what to be your new mass number, your new atomic number? Let's solve. So, you have a 234 minus 4 is equal to A. B is equal to what? 230. 94 minus 2 is equal to B. B is equal to what? 92. So, your X is equal to 230 and what? 92. Yes. Let me just give three more advanced questions. Then we'll be done for this. So they are asking a question here. What is emitted during the disintegration of barium nucleus? We have 13856 barium to give us what? 13454x. They said what is what is emitted? What is emitted? Just say 13856 barium minus, you don't know what is emitted, call it x. A B 13454 X. So you get your answer 138 minus A is equal to 134. So 138 minus 134 is equal to what A. Your A is equal to what 4. Do for the example 56 minus B is equal to what 54. 56 minus 54 is equal to B. B is equal to what 2. So plus it here. You have X A that's 4. B what? That's 2. This is your what? Helium. So helium is emitted or alpha particle. Yes. Let's take two more questions now. Okay, yes, they say which of the following would you expect to decay by beta emission? Which of the following would you expect to decay by beta emission? So they give you 2815 phosphorus. Then 4519 potassium, 7230 zinc, 2411 Na. Now, let me uh, tell you this that anytime you are having beta emission, what happens to the atomic number? Is the atomic, would the atomic number increase by one or decrease by one? Let's just try to solve it because jump and twist questions on that. So, let's say you have an element here. Let's say this is your A, this is your B, and this is X. Then you want to decay by what beta emission? This 0, minus 1, right? Well, let me just see beta. When they say beta and they don't specify if it's positive beta or negative beta, you know it's definitely negative beta because that's the common one. So yes, it should be what? A minus 0, that's what A. B minus, minus 1, that's what? B plus 1. So that's the jam question. They can always ask, your atomic number what increases? Increases by one during beta emission. During beta emission, other things they can ask like this. 
your um, your this beta beta increases by one during beta emission. Then alpha increases by decreases by two. The atomic number of alpha decreases by two during alpha emission. During alpha emission, this is alpha a b x. Then you have I think there's an equation like this in your jump fast question. So you check it very well. Minus four to h e. So this is, will be what a minus four. This shows that your what your mass number decreases by four, and your atomic number was decreases by two. A minus four, b minus two. Yes. So let's just leave that. Now I've established the point. I said your beta particle increases by what the atomic number increases by one during beta emission. So this is it. So they said beta emission. This one will do what increase by one. So this one will become what two eight sixteen without writing it full. If I want to write it full, I can just say two eight fifteen. Then they said beta emission. So it will two eight twenty eight minus zero twenty eight. 15 minus minus 1, that's what 16. So it's the same thing. But twice stress yourself when you know that it increases by 1, the atomic number increases by 1. So this one will be what? 45, 20. This one will be what? 72, 31. This one will be what? 24, 12. So which of these resemble a new element? Which of these resemble a new element? If you check it very well, it's definitely this. This is magnesium. So magnesium 24, 12 is the one that is likely going to. This one is likely going to do what? They uh, disintegrate by beta emission. Let's just take one more question like this. I will just ask you, then you will be the one to answer. Okay, so check this question out. They said, out of all these four options, which one is going to decay by beta plus emission? What's beta plus? Beta plus is your what? Your position. Your position. Beta plus emission. So check it out. If it were to be beta plus, Let's let's write the equation two three four. Okay, let's say x a b right minus what's the sign for beta plus zero one zero one this plus oh it's just positive so you may not put it so you have what a minus zero that's what a b minus one that's what b minus one x so your atomic number what decreases by one decreases by one during positron emission during positron emission so this one decreases by 1 28 14 this one decreases by 1 45 18 this one decreases by 1 72 29 24 10 so i'm giving you five seconds to pick your answer which one will resemble another new element that you know in the periodic table so you can pause your video and try to think and get your answer but yes i'm sure you have done that now so what's the answer my answer is what 2840 because if you check this value, this is what silicon. This is silicon. Let me give you a question more like this so that you can just uh come. So yes, which of these I'm using uh negatron negatron emission. So this is likely to increase by negatron emission. Yes, you have 3215, you have 37, 17, you have 45, 18, you have 30, 20. Let's call this one X, let's call this one Y, let's call this one Z, let's call this one W. So you can pause the video and tell me your answer. I'm sure you have gotten it now. Yeah. I think it's negative, better, it's those what the atomic number will be what increase. So this will be what 32, 16, 37, 18. 45, 19, 39, 21. So, you know that it's this one definitely because this is so full. So, yeah, that's just that. Let me just give you a bonus tip. We are done with the calculations. So, let me just distinguish between uh, nuclear fusion and nuclear fusion. Now, nuclear fusion is when two small elements, when they combine, we can have something like this. Maybe we have this one is 20, 10. Yes, this one is 21, 10. And they combine all 11. Now they must be what nearly equal masses. That's the condition. Nearly equal masses. When they combine, they will give you what? They will give you a bigger particle. So this is 41, 21. This is what we call what? Nuclear fusion. Fusion. You fuse something together. Fusion. Yes. 
Now, they must be what? Nearly commerces. They must be nearly commerces. What is, okay, yes, what is the opposite? We have fission. So let's say this one wants to split x 41, 21 to give us what? x 20, 10 plus 21, 11. So this is what? Nuclear fission. This splitting. Splitting is the word fission. Fission. Splitting. Fission. So it's the same thing. Splitting is fission. So yes, let me just, <coughs> let me keep this thing. Let me keep this thing. I said it must be what? Nearly commerce. What if you now have something like this? You have 21, or let me say 41, like this, 21. But what you now have is what? 39. You have 39. Let's say you have 39, 20. And this one is 2, 1. Then you know that this is not what? So this is not nuclear fission. This is not nuclear fission. So it can either be what? It can either be spontaneous disintegration. It can either be spontaneous disintegration or it can be artificial transmutation. Artificial transmutation. So it can either be any of these two. Any of these two. So yes, once it's <coughs> once it's uh they are not maybe the same. It's either spontaneous disintegration or artificial trans transmutation. Spontaneous disintegration is for what? Natural radioactivity. Natural radioactivity. Artificial transmutation is referring to what? Artificial radioactivity. What is the difference between natural radioactivity and artificial radioactivity? Natural radioactivity, of course, uh, uh, is found in elements that are what? That are heavy. Elements that are what? That are unstable. That is, elements above bismuth. Atomic number 83, mass number 209. Yes, so these are natural radioactivity. They split on their own. But this one, artificial radioactivity or artificial transmutation, of course, for low elements less than 83, they are actually stable. So we want them to split. They want to they want to uh, split. So that's what artificial transmutation. That's artificial transmutation. This has brought us, brought us to the end of balancing nuclear reactions. Please like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to check out on more wonderful content that we have for you. If you need us to explain any topic, drop it in the comments box. If you enjoyed the topic, the teaching session, drop a wonderful comment too. Yeah, thanks for staying true. This is the celebrated I Achievers Mentorship Program Champ. We are bringing academic dreams to reality. Thank you.